Tesla just leaked their aluminum ion battery, hitting 1,000 watt hours per kilogram, double lithium's capacity. While competitors fought over lithium supplies, Elon secretly built the technology that makes lithium obsolete. But here's what's really shocking. This isn't just about batteries. It's the foundation for Tesla's master plan that turns every car into a power grid node. Let's dive right in. Tesla's aluminum ion battery represents the most significant energy storage breakthrough in decades, delivering 1,000 watt hours per kilogram, a number that seemed impossible just five years ago. To put this in perspective, imagine packing twice the energy of a traditional battery into half the space while making it last five times longer. The engineering challenge was like building a highway system inside a grain of rice. Traditional lithium-ion batteries hit a hard wall around 400 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram due to fundamental physics limitations. Tesla's breakthrough lies in a revolutionary dual-layer architecture that separates endurance from explosive power. Think of it as having both a marathon runner and a sprinter living in the same body, each optimized for their specific task. And here's what few people realize. This isn't just about energy density. The aluminum ion layer handles daily operations with incredible durability, surviving over 15,000 charge cycles compared to lithium's measly 2,000. That translates to 25 years of real-world use without significant degradation. Your car's battery will literally outlast the car itself. But the real game-changer is thermal stability. Lithium batteries are like high-maintenance divas, requiring operation between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Step outside that narrow range and performance plummets while fire risk skyrockets. Tesla's aluminum system operates stably from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. We'll come back to why this matters for global deployment. The charging speed demolishes every limitation we've accepted. While today's EVs need 40 minutes for a decent charge, Tesla's system fills up in under 10 minutes. This isn't incremental improvement. It's a fundamental shift that removes range anxiety from the equation entirely. Stop for coffee, and before you've finished half the cup, you're ready for hundreds more miles. Here's the kicker that changes everything about supply chains. Aluminum is everywhere. The U.S. alone produces 1.7 million tons annually, with global reserves exceeding 700 million tons. Compare that to lithium's concentration in just three countries, with 85% of refining controlled by China. Tesla just shattered the geopolitical stranglehold on battery materials. And there's a detail most people overlook. 95% of aluminum can be recycled indefinitely without losing properties. This creates a true circular economy where old car batteries become new batteries without mining a single gram of new material. But this is just the beginning. What's really surprising is how Tesla embedded microscopic intelligence directly into the battery structure itself. Inside Tesla's aluminum ion system lies technology that sounds like science fiction. Graphene quantum dots. These particles are 10,000 times thinner than human hair, strategically placed throughout the battery to create what engineers call an intelligent electron highway. But there's something remarkable happening at the molecular level. These aren't passive components. They actively prevent the formation of dendrites, those sharp metallic structures that grow like cancer inside batteries and cause catastrophic failures. In lithium systems, dendrites are inevitable, slowly destroying the battery from within. Tesla's quantum dots act like a molecular immune system, guiding electron flow along safe pathways and eliminating this threat entirely. And here's what's truly mind-blowing. Each battery uses just one gram of these particles. One grain of rice worth of material transforms the entire energy system's behavior, reducing internal electrical resistance by 
compared to standard lithium cells. This microscopic addition translates to measurably better acceleration, extended range, and lightning-fast response times. Ear by 30%. The system literally extends its own lifespan by understanding how you drive. The intelligence goes much deeper with Tesla's QNP1 chip, Quantum Neural Processing Unit 1. This proprietary processor learns your driving patterns with 85% accuracy using GPS history, biometric sensors, even your breathing patterns. It predicts energy demands before you make them. Why would Tesla accept this complexity? Because predictive intelligence increases efficiency by 25% and reduces battery W. First, it adapts energy distribution in real time. Second, it adjusts the car's emotional response based on your stress levels, softening suspension when you're relaxed, firming responses when you're tense, and most importantly, it does all this invisibly while you simply drive. This creates something unprecedented in automotive history, a true vehicle-to-grid system that works both ways. The Model 2 doesn't just consume electricity, it can feed power back into the grid during peak hours, stabilizing up to 12% of a city's electrical demand, according to McKinsey projections. But here's what most people are missing about Tesla's real strategy. This isn't just about building better batteries. They're constructing the foundation for autonomous taxi fleets that can operate 24-7 with minimal downtime. As we'll see next, this connects to Musk's master plan in ways that will fundamentally reshape urban infrastructure. And here's why this changes everything. Tesla's aluminum ion breakthrough isn't really about making better electric cars. It's about building the energy infrastructure for a world where every vehicle becomes a mobile power station in a distributed grid network. And when you realize what this means for urban planning, energy independence, and autonomous transportation, the scope becomes staggering. Here's the connection most analysts missed. Tesla estimates that long-life batteries and ultra-fast charging could save autonomous fleet operators $12,000 per vehicle over its life cycle. Multiply that across millions of vehicles, and you're looking at tens of billions in operational savings. But there's a critical detail. This only works if batteries can handle extreme cycling without degradation. And this is where Tesla's 25-year battery lifespan becomes a weapon. Traditional lithium systems would die within months under continuous robo-taxi operation. Tesla's aluminum ion architecture is specifically engineered for this abuse, turning what seemed like an impossible business model into inevitable profitability. Most importantly, the 10-minute charging time eliminates the biggest constraint for autonomous fleets. Current robo-taxis spend precious hours daily at charging stations, losing money while stationary. Tesla's system reduces that to coffee break intervals, maximizing revenue-generating time on the road. But the real transformation happens when thousands of these vehicles connect to smart grids. They become a distributed energy storage system larger than any battery farm ever conceived. During peak solar hours, they absorb excess renewable energy. At night, they feed it back to neighborhoods, earning money while parked. And here's what few people realize about the global implications. The thermal resilience makes this vision deployable everywhere. Unlike lithium systems requiring expensive cooling in Phoenix and heating in Minneapolis, aluminum ion batteries work unchanged from Canada to Saudi Arabia. This standardization enables truly global deployment of identical technology. Tesla is positioning itself not just as an automaker, but as the infrastructure backbone for smart cities. Every Model 2 sold becomes a building block in a larger system that could revolutionize how urban areas manage transportation, energy distribution, and grid stability simultaneously. The timeline is aggressive, but realistic. 
Pre-production prototypes are already testing under real-world conditions. Unlike other promised technologies trapped in research labs, Tesla's aluminum ion batteries are moving toward mass production with characteristic Musk velocity. What we're witnessing isn't just lithium's end. It's the emergence of transportation energy convergence into a single intelligent network. The $15,000 Model 2 that people dismiss as just another affordable EV is actually the Trojan horse for the most ambitious infrastructure play in modern history. By the time competitors realize they're not just fighting for car sales but for control of urban energy systems, Tesla's network will already be operational across continents. And that's when the real disruption begins. This is exactly why Tesla kept this development under wraps while competitors fought over lithium supply chains. What this means is that we're not just watching the end of one battery technology, we're witnessing the birth of intelligent transportation infrastructure that could power entire cities. When every $15,000 Tesla becomes a mobile power station capable of stabilizing electrical grids, we're looking at the foundation for truly sustainable urban systems. This connects directly to humanity's larger energy challenges, both on Earth and eventually in space colonies, where resource efficiency isn't just about cost, it's about survival. And this is just the beginning. Tesla's roadmap suggests this technology will scale across their entire vehicle lineup within three years. Meanwhile, competitors are scrambling to secure lithium contracts that may become worthless overnight. How do you think traditional automakers will respond when their entire battery supply chain becomes obsolete? Will they pivot fast enough? Or are we about to see the biggest industry shakeup since smartphones killed Nokia? This is Tech Revolution, and we dive deep into breakthrough technologies that reshape our world. If you want more analysis like this that connects the dots others miss, hit subscribe. The next decade of transportation is being written right now, and you'll want to understand every move. The future isn't just electric, it's intelligent, and it's arriving faster than anyone expected.